All right, well, I finally got my bug out bag in the mail. It was about 35 bucks on eBay. So I said, screw it, it's better than what I got now. Might as well give it a shot. It does have the, the bigger webbing on the front, all through those, and then if you need it, it does have the smaller, regular Molly webbing on it. This pouch up here, that's all Velcro. It does have the Molly straps. But it's just Velcro, so you can put patches, name tapes, whatever you want on there. Uh, it's got retention slash compression straps. You just buckle that up and pull on this little D-ring down here, and it keeps everything from flopping around with extra room. It keeps it all secured and compressed, or if need be. You can put a sleeping bag or a tarp or something underneath it and then cinch it down. It's got some compression straps on either side so you can keep the sides compressed and then it also has them on the bottom going around. And this main one here loops all the way down through the molly, goes underneath the bag and stops there. Uh, so that's pretty good. It also has the molly webbing on the sides, both sides, uh, nothing on the back. The straps are pretty thin, not very padded, but they're wide enough to where they distribute the weight on your shoulders so you don't notice it as much. Uh, they are adjustable, they're also removable if for some reason you wanted to have a backpack or a bug out bag without straps if you want to carry it really inconveniently with just that handle. Uh, but they are adjustable at the top on the quick release buckle. You can adjust it and then it's also adjustable down at the bottom where it attaches to the pack itself. Uh, both straps have these two D-ring kind of deals on them. So both of those. Uh, they have some more D-rings up here. I'm not sure what those are for. I'm guessing maybe for hanging either from a tree or maybe harnessing up a uh, water bladder in there. Uh, let's see here. Now the pockets. Zippers seem pretty good. Front pouch just has your standard open pouch. They're all lined with this plasticky material. I don't know if that's just to keep down on the fabric rubbing or if it's supposed to be a waterproofer material. I don't know. But they're lined with that. So there's that one. The bigger front pouch has a slip pocket. One big slip pocket. A smaller slip pocket. Uh, my compass fits perfectly in that. And then it's got three pen-sized pockets. That goes all the way down to the bottom of the pack. That's it back up. And then you've got the middle pouch, which goes all the way down to the bottom of the pack, but it doesn't un uh, unzip all the way. It does have a big slip pocket and then two mesh pockets just for organizing your stuff a little bit. And then you've got this main, the main big compartment. Hold on. Get this unzipped. Come on now. And this one clamshells all the way open. It's uh, it's not too bad for the depth. It's got a nice nice depth to it. Uh, on the back side, up against your back, you have a zipper pocket. And then over here, you've got a big mesh pocket that you can slip stuff into for a little bit more organization. It's kind of cool that it uh, clamshells all the way open. Sometimes it's a little easier to do that. Get this zip back up real quick here. 
Uh, there were a bunch of different colors on this pack. I got the Woodland Digital because I figured if for some reason I need to dump it real quick, I can throw it underneath a bush and or maybe kick some leaves over it or something and it'll disappear a little easier. Not perfect, but it's better than the other colors they had. They had some kind of dark gray with light gray straps and molly. They had one that was like blue with neon green molly and straps. There was just a bunch of different colors. But most of them were kind of weird, so. Uh, I just threw on an old canteen cover that I had from back in the army. Uh, the canteen cover. I got a canteen in there with the canteen cup. Threw that on one side because it never hurts to have extra water. Uh, just zip tied another backup knife to the side of it. So that way when I'm wearing it and all, I've got a backup knife right there. And I don't know if Leader right there is the brand or if that's just a sheath that somebody picked up, but it seems to be a pretty good knife. It's got your serrated edge at the bottom and the uh, regular edge on the way up there. I did the 550 cord handle just because I was bored sitting in the living room one day, so I threw that on there. Uh, it's long enough, sturdy enough. I was using it as a machete, but when and when I was done using it as a machete on uh, a locust tree that I was trying to hook my hammock up to, uh, Tess, I looked at it and felt it around, and it was still razor sharp so i don't know if somebody made this knife or if it was bought i don't know but it's definitely a nice little knife uh, the back here opens up with velcro and has another pocket down in there some people say for a water bladder but there's no way i would put a water bladder in here because once you get stuff put in the pack and it starts, it runs out of room to expand this way, it's going to start pushing up against your back. And then you get that bubble forming on the back of it, and so that way only part of your back is touching down the middle. I was talking to a buddy about what to put in there, saying I need to find a piece of wood or plastic or something to put in there just to keep it straight. And he said, you know what would work perfect for that? I said, what? He says, a cheap cutting board whether wood or plastic, and I thought that is perfect. Because you can probably get a cutting board this size, and even if it's a little wider, cut it down to fit the pack. That way it keeps it flat up against your back. And you also have a cutting board on, on hand if you need, for some reason, to cut some stuff up and prepare some things. You've got a cutting board right there that you can pull out and put back in if need be. So that's a really good, really good idea there. Uh, that's about it on the pack. We're going to be filling it up little by little with different things I order here and there. I'll probably do some reviews on them as I get them. See if they work, see if they don't. Figure out where I'm going to put stuff. So I'll let y'all know once we get those in. So y'all keep on working. I'm going to get to organizing. <laughs>